What sets um, Running Aces apart from other racing facilities here in Minnesota and around the country? You know, it, it's such a family-friendly environment. We're a smaller facility, so it's a little bit more intimate, but it's, it's convenient. You can see everything, you can get to every place really conveniently, and we're free admission. So it doesn't cost anything to come in, watch the races. Tuesdays we have dollar nights, you can have a dollar hot dog, a two dollar beer, and, and have a fun night. And we had an addition to building a trout pond which complements racing is that family friendly activity. You can come, bring your kids or fish yourself, catch your fish, we'll clean and cook it for you and you can eat it while you're watching the races. And let's not forget, there's also some gambling. A absolutely. What takes place here? So we do have uh, blackjack, all different levels, and then Texas Hold'em, we do daily poker tournaments, live games, and then Easy Bach and Pai Gao, just a, a full selection of casino games. And the best thing about ours is there's no commissioner ante on any of the games, so it really sets us apart. What's your favorite part of, especially a, a race day? Uh, the excitement. There's, there's excitement as soon as race season hits. There's new energy that's brought to the building. And it's just, they're great creatures. There's, there's so much energy and fun and it's just a, an exciting place to work. We're inside the stable here at uh, Running Aces and I'm with Jessica Johnson who is the Vice President of the Minnesota Harness Racing Association yep. and you also are the caretaker, is that the word you would use? Yep, yep it is. For Been There, Done That, Hollywood. Thanks for having us out. Absolutely, <laughs> we're happy to have you. My first time in a, in a stable like this, and I have some tools yes. in my hand, two types of brushes. One is softer for the body. Correct. And this one's a little more firm for this. For the um, forelock and for the mane. Forelock and mane, I'm learning things already. So just a proper brushing. Yep, just Hollywood. with the hair. It's all hair. good, it's all good. So tell me about the Harness uh, Racing Association of Minnesota. Sure. Uh, we are a nonprofit organization that basically just represents the horsemen and we're like a liaison. So we work with the casino and with the state and try to make sure that we have what's best for the horsemen and looking out for them and the horses. Okay. What are some of the key differences between maybe some of the typical racing we're used to with yeah. the jockey on the horse and harness racing? What are some of the differences? Well, the, the biggest difference, I guess, is that instead of having a driver or a, a, a jockey who sits on top of the horse, there's a bike and they sit in the bike um, and they drive the horse. Um, but also these horses are trotters and they're pacers. So they're never actually in the gallop. They're in the trot, which is a diagonal gait. Um, so his left front and right hind would go together and then the opposite or they pace, which means it's a lateral gait. So these two legs move together. Oh, sorry, buddy. And then the other two legs move together. Okay, and, and this horse is a standard breed? He's a standard bred, yep. Standard bred, and what does that mean? The standard bred is actually a thoroughbred, a Morgan, and an Arabian a long time ago bred together. Okay. But a standard bred is a genetic difference, which makes them able to do that lateral gait, the pace. Um, and so if they, weren't a standard but they can't necessarily do that. Okay, and what makes um, a horse stand out in harness racing? It has mostly two things. Um, a lot of it's gonna be breeding and how fast they can actually go, but then it also has to be how bad they wanna do it. Okay. Um, and so generally the horses that are older and they're still racing, it's because they love racing. They're just like a human athlete. So right. I consider the older ones like Brett Favre. Oh. You know, they never want to quit, and they, they only quit when they absolutely have they to. They have it in their blood. They yes. just love the race. So um, for someone who's the driver then, what are some key things that they need? What are they doing when they're in that cart driving the bike? They are, they've really got a pretty big job. Um, they need to know the horses and the drivers around them. So before the race, they read the program, and they're able to say, you know, okay, this one really likes to be in the front, but then it's no good, or... And so they have to decide where they're going to be in the mile at what times. Mm -hmm. um, and then they have to look out for all the other drivers. And they also need to rate their horse because they're not going as fast as they can the whole time. So they start out a little faster and then they're going to slow down. And then in the home stretch, they're going to go as fast as they can again. And I was hoping I could maybe take a ride in, yeah, in, the, in the bike and get that experience. So we'll come out here and we'll get our jog cart. And because there's two of us, we'll use this double seater here. Okay. Um, so on a normal daily basis, we go out in what we call a jog cart, and they are 
These more comfortable looking carts, they have a bigger seat and they're a lot heavier with more sturdy wheels. And then when they go out to race, they use like this green cart over here, which is very light and has light wheels. And it's just a lot, it's a lot faster. There we go. And then I we'll just- I forgot my boots. <laughs> That's okay, we'll wheel it over here. Comfy. You ready? I am ready. Good boy. A lot of power behind these horses. Oh, they're incredibly powerful. It's, a, it's, it's really amazing. A beautiful day for a job. It is a beautiful day for a job. I always laugh. Sometimes I'll get a phone call and I'll answer it while I'm jogging. And I'll say, I'm sorry if it's hard for you to hear me. It's kind of windy. I'm getting like he wants to really let loose. He's really excited um, when the horses go by training. He knows. He wants to go show those horses that he's way faster than them. A, a little over a mile per race. Yep, it's the distance that they're actually timing is exactly one mile. Yeah. But the starting car, because it's a moving start, they the starting car will sit over there at a standstill and when it's ready it will call the horses and drivers and they will start to come up to it and when that happens it will start to move and it picks up speed all the way until that green post so opening day was in may yes may 17th and what was that like it was amazing it was fantastic um we had a good a good amount of horses that raced on opening night and the crowd was huge well thank you so much You're welcome. for the experience whoa buddy and i'm excited to come back here and taken a race. Thanks for the ride. You did a great job. Sorry we held him back a little bit. He wanted to really let go. But yeah. <laughs> thank you for being gentle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna